What's up guys, this is the True Hookah King, bringing you two reviews in one video, because that's just how I roll. Now, the review that I'm doing is the charcoal first. This is a new kind of charcoal, I heard it's really awesome, so I had to try it. Um, thank you for sending this out to me, Gabriel. Awesome. I'm going to do the review on the fifth year. Anniversary Exotica Charcoals. Now how badass is that? An alien holding a hookah. I'm sorry, it doesn't get any better than that. That's just awesome. Um, Award winning charcoal, it's out of this universe. It says, pre-scored and ready to go. Remember those Exoticas that have the lines that I liked? Yeah, I guess these have them. It says, no smoke, no odor, no taste, will not roll, will not break, no chemicals. Long-lasting, great for hookah bars or personal use. Well, I decided to um, go ahead and use them the way that I normally use Exoticas. They are pre-scored. See that little line? And you're thinking, that little line? What is that going to do? It does a whole lot, actually. <laughs> so, um, let's go ahead and heat these up and see how they heat up. Okay, guys. Um, I'm probably talking a little bit quieter because I don't want my voice to be, like, booming loud all of a sudden. Because the camera's a lot closer because I'm holding it. So, these have only been on for maybe five minutes tops. So, these heat up very quickly. They ash, um, they ash a little bit differently than the regular Exoticas. Um, I don't know how I feel about that yet, but you know what? When it comes to hookah charcoal, it doesn't really matter how they ash. It's how good they heat up your bowl. That's the most important thing. So, um, yeah, w within five minutes, um, that's pretty good time. That's faster than it, than Coconara's. That could either be a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know, but um, we'll put them to the test on the Acid Blue review next. All right, guys, I have the charcoal on top of the bowl. Took a few puffs to kind of get it warmed up. Now, with these charcoals, I was told that you're only you're not supposed to ash them a lot. You're only supposed to ash these every 30 minutes. But anyways, this is the Star Buzz Acid Blue. And yes, I got my Texas thingies back. Should be somewhere around here. Maybe up here. I don't know. I haven't edited it yet. Anyways, Acid Blue. Um, Smells almost like a, a, a mint. Like a, like a winter fresh. And a melon. That's kind of what it smells like. Very, very strange. Um, I am all out now, but <laughs> it's a, a light golden color, medium to long cut. Not too bad at all. Anyways, I'm smoking out of a Carnival KM ice and water in the vase. KM Ho, standard Egyptian bowl, foil, and two bricks. Two bricks or two pieces? I don't know. Okay, two bricks from one bar of the Exotica 5th year anniversary charcoal. There we go. Oh, and just as a point of interest, everything that they said on here has been true. No smoke, no odor, no taste. It's not going to roll, that's for sure. Will not break. I believe it. And no chemicals. I can believe that too. I'm just going to have to take their word for it. Long lasting. We'll find out. Anyways, the acid blue. I think I put too much ice, guys. I just screwed up this entire review. Boo! Leave a comment saying boo! Because I don't feel like editing this.
There we go. Awesome! Oh yeah, thunderclouds are a five out of five. Um, oh my goodness, this is a whole new kind of charcoal. I'm liking it. Um, anyways, this acid blue is really, really, um, it's different. It, I've had an acid blue cigar before. Didn't really taste like this though, but. It does taste like there might be blue mist in there, or maybe winter fresh, with a melon. Like maybe, um... Wow, I don't know. I want to say either a sweet melon or a safari melon dew is what it tastes like. It tastes like one of those two with either winter fresh or blue mist. I'm not quite sure. That's the closest I can describe the taste is either winter fresh or blue mist with either a sweet melon or safari melon dew. But either way, if you like any of those flavors, you know, if you like safari melon dew, I, I, I don't know, even if you don't like Safari Melon Dew, but you like Sweet Melon, and you like Blue Mist, or you don't like Blue, well, I don't know who doesn't like Blue Mist, but yeah, you get my point. I think you should try it. I really do. The Acid Blue is probably my most favorite, um, you know, I don't know if it's my favorite out of the Acid line. I think, um, you know, it's tied between Acid Red, that's for sure. Um... So the red and the blue are my absolute favorite. The blue is something that I could see myself smoking um, every once in a while. Like if I don't want blue mist just straight, I can get the acid blue and there's melon in there. There's a little bit of that, you know, melon, fruity melon taste. You know what I mean? So the acid blue is definitely great. You know, let's say you want something like blue mist, but you know, you you kind of want a little something else in there. You don't have to worry about mixing flavors, just get some acid blue and bam, there you go. That's the flavor right there. I'm rambling on completely and I have no idea what I'm talking about at this moment. And this video is really long. Um, the powerfulness of the taste, I'm gonna have to give this a, uh, hmm. Probably an eight or an 8.5. Because it's not too, it's not too light. It's not a really light flavor, but it's not a super strong flavor either. It's not as strong as Blue Mist or as Winter Fresh, but it's just a good moderate type of flavor. My overall rating for this, um, I'd probably give it an eight or an eight point five for my overall rating. It's definitely something that I would probably pick up again in the near couple months or so maybe so yeah that's my review on the Starbucks acid blue you should get your hands on some if you like this review uh, please remember to subscribe comment and rate thumbs up some of you guys forgot the thumbs up and that's really important so if you could do that that'd be awesome please make sure you leave a comment even if you hate this video even if you hate me do it <sighs> anyways uh, <laughs> getting a little carried away there I'm just in a, a better mood today than I was yesterday. But yes, I was going to say something I totally forgot, and it was important. Oh yeah, okay, the reason that I did two reviews in one video is because I got behind. I didn't have a chance to post the Acid Blue because YouTube's been kind of messing up on me. I haven't been able to respond to people's comments. Thank God I could respond to inst inst uh, blah, 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 personal messages. So that's good. That's the reason there are two reviews in this video. So definitely pick up some five-year anniversary Exotica Charcoals. I mean, the alien is just badass enough, you know what I mean? Woo! Yeah. But anyways, get that. Here, I'll show you the, the, the website in case you can't find any anywhere else. 
ExoticaBrand.com. Hopefully it didn't come out backwards, but yeah. This has been the True Hookah King. Keep smoking. Happy smoking. Till next time. Don't worry, Kokonara. I still love you guys too. But I'm going to have to start using these Exoticas in the reviews. These Exoticas are awesome. Seriously, guys, get yourself some Exoticas. I still like Kokonaras because, you know, they're economically friendly. Okay, that's the end of this video. I just want to throw that in there because these are freaking amazing. Till next time.